guys, welcome to another of our uh, video for our game uh, Brainstorm, which is currently in closed beta. My name is David, I'm uh, head of the marketing at Genia here, and I'm with another fantastic person, Stefan, the game producer of the game. I said game two times. Game producer. Hello. How's it going? Doing fantastic. Cool. Have you met the client? Personally. Okay, cool. So, um, game mechanics. That's, that's the topic we want to cover right now. Yeah, where, where do we start? The first thing you'll do uh, when playing Brainstorm is decide where you build your city, build your city. Cool. So let's say I know a lot of stuff about Australia. Okay. I'll go and start my city there because I'll be exposed to knowledge related to the Australian culture. Uh, so if I'm good at boomerangs, Vegemite, kangaroos and stuff, I, I definitely should place my city there. Cool, okay, so here we are. So That's your city that you built already? Yeah, we've started it a few minutes ago, uh, and already we, uh, we've we built the reactor, the cognitive reactor is already built yeah, that's in cool. that city. You know, that's like the core, that's the main building of the whole city? Yeah, that's where you connect and activate the knowledge fragment and the knowledge you have, uh, you find in sure, the games. Excellent, okay. So um, before we, we actually begin, I just want to bring to your attention uh, the HUD right here. Uh, um, in, in order to cover the, the basic mechanics, uh, we're just going to talk about uh, our three main resources. Like the, the game revolves around these three resources. The first one is the energy. Uh, this one rules everything that you're going to do in the game. Sending experts, sending exploration vehicles, sending extractors to, for, for, to acquire genius attacking enemies. So uh, it, it's really important. The game is focused around gathering as much knowledge as you can and master it uh, in, in order to, to produce as, as much energy as possible so that you can act quicker and, and do more actions per, per turn, if I can say, even, even if it's not turn-based. So um, right now, we are going to use, like, if we're going to do an action that uses energy, for example. So. One of the basic elements, uh, the first things that, that you want to do when you establish your city is you want to see, you want to have a look at what uh, fragments are close to my city. Yeah, so in this care, in this case, uh, we've started close to Dream and Legends. Yeah, Legend, that's one. All right, so uh, let's see what Legends, what expert Legends requires. Okay. So I, right here we see that uh, I have a guide, an, an ethnologist, and a biographer that can analyze this knowledge, but this guy is more uh, specialized uh, in it. Yeah, fun fact, if you look at him right, uh, you may recognize him in a later video <laughs> on Twitch. That's correct. That's, that's not actually a, an interesting fact, because uh, all of the, of the experts, they, they have this certain uh, uh, aesthetic that looks like uh, one of the developers of the game. Most of them. Most of them. In so this case, the game designer. Yeah, in this game, the game designer. So uh, to, to get this guy, this expert, we need the control center. So let's go and get it in the city. All right, so in the list of buildings, so you will find uh, the control center. It will unlock, again, more fragments. Uh, there is modifiers and bonuses that come with it. And most importantly, in this case, we unlock the Our expert. The expert that we want. So let's build it. And um, so when when the building is finished, I can I actually need to claim it. So this is all the rewards that I'm gonna get. I click OK, and then I can see all these fragments that are being stored in my library. But they, they also uh, they also appear in they're also like stored if I can say that into the reactor so that I can master them uh, later. So let's, how about we do that right now? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this is where the quiz mechanic comes into play. Uh, so I can see here that I have four notions available to be mastered, and I can start the process right now. So the first one is the sniffer dog, all right? Yep. Uh, these are the potential rewards that we're gonna get if, if uh, uh, we, we answer right. When? So we'll let's get it right, because yeah. I always get them right. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, game producer knows all the, the answers. So, so which method? is used to train a dog to detect narcotics. What's the answer? Of course it's playing the game where the dog has to find the odor of drugs molecule. Excellent. Okay, so we got the right answer. 
we can see like a consecutive bonus that's starting to build up. Each consecutive answer will build up this this uh, this streak, and as the higher my streak, the higher the bonus will be. Like this one's the first one, but the second one, it's going to be like a, a uh, plus twenty energy for the success bonus. Next question is the access card. Let's do this. The common access card is issued by the U.S. Army to control <laughs> access to. All right, let's do this. U.S. Army. Nice stuff. Okay, so we got that. Public toilet. Let's do this quick, as we know them all right. Cool. Yeah, I never get bored or of answering correctly to this question. Okay. Uh, that's because they, on average, they spend more time in the toilet than men. So the last answer. That is correct. You can see here the like. Every question that is being asked, you are being timed. And if you're out of time, you miss the question. And right now we have a, a, a very nice consecutive streak. So for, for this one, uh, I'm just going to stop right here and collect whatever I have acquired right here. So we don't show you all the answers in the game. <laughs> exactly. That is that is one of the, uh, the idea. So as you can see, um, my, my vision of the world is very limited. So uh, I'm going to want also, like by building this, the the structure that I've built, the um, the control center. Yep. Is that okay? Um, I can send my expert uh, that was a prerequisite of this knowledge. So I'm gonna choose this guy and choose analyze. While I wait, we'll go and build the uh, transport factory so we can expand the vision that we have of Australia and the world. Exactly. Okay. So transport factory unlocks all sorts of vehicle, they can go uh, farther uh, and they expose either, uh, at the beginning it's small circles in the fog, of in, in the fog that you lift, but uh, later on with the higher level buildings, you'll uh, reveal large area. Yeah, so and that's something that we'll see in the, in the upcoming videos where uh, uh, it's, it's more like a mid, mid to end game content where we have uh, planes, we can use probes for exploration and stuff. So right now, this is my, my only view. This is the button where I can, I can send a, a, an explorer uh, for this. Try and find the Sydney Opera. Sydney Opera? Yeah. You want me to try to find it? Yeah. OK. I have no idea where it is. Oh, definitely not. OK. I know Australia, but not David. I can see here, exactly. Thank you for uh, reminding me. <laughs> that's, I, I can see here that I've completed a quest. Uh, that's also another way to get instant uh, energy bonuses. I have another quest right here. I'm just going to clear it. OK, cool. So uh, as we can see, my, my expert is currently uh, analyzing this knowledge. I have sent a unit to uh, explore this area. And uh, in, in my downtime, I can always go and master some of the, some of the fragments that I've uh, acquired already. But right now, this one is uh, it's ready to, uh, to uh, get. Actually, I have to wait until this guy gets back to claim it. So all of the actions that, I've, that we've done into, uh, into the display, they've all used energy. Uh, as a as a main um, resource, so just maybe uh, in order to uh, speed up the process a little bit, we can go. And you don't you, you don't really have to wait until he's back. That's just because you clicked on the mission. And ah, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, good. So I can collect uh, right now the the legend fragment. All right, cool. Get it right here. So that shows you a little bit of the mechanics of using energy. Like this guy here is going to explore. I can actually expedite the process by paying in-game credits. Boom, right there. I, everything's done. Just completing quests left and right. Cool, OK. So that's one thing. Our, our main goal is to get as, men, as much knowledge as possible. But we, we're going to need to expand our city with, with Genium. So uh, I just want to show you. In the world, you see these genium veins right here that are ready to be extracted, and th that's going to be our main our main resource to uh, to uh, build our structures. So, in order to uh, extract them, I need to get the geology lab, which gives me two extractors. Uh, basically, th the resource uh, system it's it's uh, it's based on an on an hourly production. So, for example, right here. I'm acquiring these two extractors, which I can send in the world, and they will provide me with uh, a certain production of genium per hour. Like, let's let's do this right now. So I'm going to send this one here and this one here. So these guys, once they're on once they're uh, on, on location, they're going to start extracting <coughs> the genium, 
and we're going to see uh, this production value uh, uh, augment right here. Like we're at zero right now because we don't have anything that's mining. And we also cheated a little bit, so we have uh, energy to show you, uh, show you guys uh, how it works. Once again, the game is on 30 days. So uh, once you, all, all of your resources are depleted and you've done everything on the, that you have to do today, just uh, uh, leave, do, do your stuff, and come back again later for, for more once, once all of your uh, resources are claimed and your knowledge is, uh, is, is acquired. You can also use the task queue to queue building construction. Uh, since you get automatically more and more genium with your production, uh, if you plan for a building for which you don't have the genium yet, uh, it will start during the night during your gun network uh, without you even being there if you queue it. That's cool. That's so, so basically I can queue up like four actions and if I'm gone for two days, they're going to be executed while yeah. I'm gone. So you won't uh, lose genium production. Okay. Your games. Cool. Be How about, uh, do, do you want to talk about the population? That's maybe our, our last uh, yeah, resource. One of the last thing that you need to understand uh, from basic game mechanics is the population. Every smart building you build come with workers. Those workers, they uh, don't necessarily reside in your city, but if you build a residential area, they will uh, move to your city. Once you're there, uh, once they are there, you can collect taxes, so it's automatic based on the building type, the residential building type you, you will decide. So, so it's for, for example, right now we have zero population out of a potential of 1,200. Yeah, you've got 1,200 workers in your city right now and three different smart buildings, so you can go and... Let's go ahead and, build uh, and build a few, uh, a few uh, residential areas right here. Yep. These are going to fill up my my population uh, uh, potential, if I can say that, and, and give me a modifier of taxes. Yep. I can. We can build. We strongly uh, uh, encourage players to always max their population yeah, as soon as possible. Because three genium an hour doesn't seem that much compared to what the robot just gave you. But uh, you don't. You won't have to ever spend energy for the production from the housing. Cool. So that's a, dip, a good way to have a steady genium income, even if you're not there, even if you forgot to send your robot back into mission, you'll have a steady, a steady genium income. All right. Well, uh, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for listening, and uh, we'll be back for more with uh, a video on uh, a, a later gameplay uh, that we're going to use some. We're going to show you some some cool mechanics. All right. Stay All right. tuned.